Hi guys, welcome to another vloggy vlog. This is gonna be a special, a Thanksgiving holiday special. And this is, as you can see in the title, uh, my uh, vintage and some luxury handbag collection, the small edition, meaning smaller bags. So if you're interested, grab a coffee or... Okay, so starting with the vintage ones, the ones that I thrifted, that I found thrifted, vintage ones this first one that i found is a dooney and burke bumblebee bag okay uh this was i paid 9.99 for it is leather and it has the cute uh detailing there the bees so it's a cute bag for the summertime leather handle straps here i love it and I got this for $9.99 at the thrift store, Dooney and Burke bag. So that's actually a brand, but I got it at the thrift store, so that's what I'm showing you. This bag I really love is black. It's made in Korea, and I haven't seen anything like this anywhere else. I paid, uh, and it's like a suede, suede material with the gold there and the gold chain. It has an initial here of a company. I don't really know what it is, but it's made in Korea. I love it. And I paid $4 for this bag, which is good to wear like on a date or just casual wear. You could dress it up or down because you see the gold studding there. So I really, really love this bag. $4 thrifted made in Korea. This bag is really, really cute. I got it because of the color is leather. If some of you know about Mexican or those countries, Honduras, that make these kind of bags. So it's for one of those places. I can't tell you where because it's not in here, but I paid $3 for it. The tag is on the inside. I paid $3 for this bag. I love the pink. And once again, you could wear this with a plain white dress, summertime, just carry your essentials. This is obviously when you're not on the rag and just to go to the park or the mall, where everything, you know, whatever you need to do. This is a cute small bag, $3. This three. bag I bought, I have a connection with because I bought it so long ago. My second child didn't even exist. I think my, my first child was like six when I got this bag. And this thrift store doesn't exist anymore. A thrift store in Fort Lauderdale, it no longer exists. This is a leather sling bag. As you can see, you could wear a cross, it's a crossbody leather. I mean, they don't make them like this anymore, guys. I paid $5 for this. Let me show you how it is when it hangs. See, you can wear it like this. Look at how cute that looks. Edgy leather. Paid $5 for this bag. I'm never going to get rid of this bag. This is one of those vintage bags that I'm always going to keep. With the fringe, you can't, it's, tell me if you find something like this nowadays, modern, and I'm telling you, you're not gonna pay $5 and it's not gonna be this supple leather. I can guarantee you that. Okay, this is another black bag, but it's a different style. This is more of a, a square style, as you can see. Square is kind of like, has a little marking zone there. I gotta wipe this down. Something told me to clean up my small bag collection, and I'm glad I did because something was going on in that basket anyway better now i had to wipe that down okay this is like i said another thrifted bag is square with gold studs as you can see it's like a cool tip type of bag as you can see here uh leather kind of looks like if it were to be like a chanel but obviously it's not but look at the studs on there that's why i got this bag when i saw it gold chain which i love and like i said you could dress this up or down for work or whatever I love the score. It has a little thing on here. I think that's a little bit of paint. But trust me, for $4, you're not going to find a bag this quality for $4 anywhere nowadays. Especially with how things are just going up, guys. So this is my thrifted uh, bag here for $4 that I thrifted a long time ago. This one is thrifted. It's kind of like a Carrie Bradshaw inspired. When I saw it, I just had to get it. Let me see if the tag is in there. Because sometimes I leave it to remember. Um, I don't see a tag in here. But anyway, it was thrifted. Look at this beauty here. Look at this. With the tassel hanging on there. Look at this beauty. You could wear this with a dress, of course. You could dress, you could wear this any kind of way you want to, obviously. Okay, it's velvet, vintage, and let me show you the inside here. Okay. Ow. 
look at that beauty and it has a little coin thing i guess back in the days women oh my god it has even a thing i never even used this bag look it has a little mirror in there that i never even knew about that you the ladies i guess from the titanic sit down please the ladies from the titanic when they wanted to look at themselves of course this this mirror is like wilted but still it's cute i didn't know what was let me see if there's money in here no money but anyway thrifted bag love it dress it up or down and the material is a uh, velvet and it has beading on there as you can see the beading is just beautiful guys this beauty here thrifted vintage so you can see a structured bag has the gold roll on there clasp open it like this okay and this says made in italy it says i don't even know gray gary i don't know leather and this is something that you could wear when you want to be prissy wearing a little bag and it has little feet on there so it's really cute thrifted this bag i remember i paid five dollars for this bag you can't copy because it's thrifted. I want to yes. say real quick, thank you for you guys that are subscribed and watch my channel. And I just don't understand why is it that a lot of you, I see people subscribing to these fake ass people that basically want you to spend thousands of dollars on bags and stuff like that. My channel should be growing. If, if it's authentic people like me watching my channel, my channel should be growing because I'm not here being fake, talking about Chanel and Gucci and all this other stupidities, okay? Be real with yourself, be honest with yourself, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. It's very important. Another vintage leather find, snake skin. This is the inside. Yeah. Leather. I get compliments when I wear this bag. I don't know what it is about this bag, but a lot of women like this bag. Actually, my son's dad, when I wore it, he actually liked it too. So I don't know if it's this here, the leathering. But I really, really love this bag. I've had it for a long time. So long, I don't even remember what I paid. I think I got this in the same place where I got that leather sling back where that thrift store doesn't exist. Leather. Thrifted, guys. I don't know if this is considered thrifted or not. I got this at a vintage shop. It wasn't a thrift store. But this is a, what do you call that? A needlepoint vintage bag. Uh, these used to be in style or people used to women used to carry these in the I think 60s or 70s I don't really care but I really love this bag it's really really cute funky edgy um let me see it has the gold clasp there for you to open and it opens like this see that carry your cell phone makeup uh, your cell phone, if you have one of those iPhones 18s that don't fit, you can just put it in your pocket. But everything else you could put in here and it's really, really cute. If you want to add a little bit of edge to your plain outfit, like a plain black dress, a plain white whatever. This is a great pop-up color to add to your collection, guys. Oh, this is, by the way, like I said, it's a vintage shop. So you can't get this, unfortunately. But it's pretty, right? I have a lot of like beaded vintage bags. But these are the two that I took out because I just, it's okay, I just can't. But anyway, these are my favorites or the ones that I could just find right now. Look at this beauty. Love this purse right here. I think it's really cute for the summer, a little plain white dress or beige dress, this color. Some nice sandals. I look at the detailing. If you can see there, it has like little, uh, Swarovski crystals you open it like this and this one's really roomy it's really roomy and I don't know if you can see the detailing in this bag here it has like little uh flowers etching in there sewn in there and this is from made in Japan okay and this I got in a vintage shop I don't remember what I paid I'm gonna guess maybe just to be nice maybe ten dollars because I'm cheap but I'm pretty sure it wasn't more than that but look at the beauty so unique and beautiful. And the next one that I have, since it's in the beaded part, I have them in bags. Uh, this one right here. It's like a little clutch. I got this one because I thought about clovers when I saw it. And if you follow my channel, you know me. You know I love clovers. So I got this one, like a little clutchy kind of bag. Um, and you open it like this. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Dress it up or down. 
and this was also uh, from the shop from a vintage shop i think i paid seven dollars for this okay so the last one that i want to show you oh let me wipe it off like i told you i'm doing a clean now and some of these bags i haven't seen in years months whatever um since i moved to my condo anyway this is the last of the finds that i'm showing you from that are thrifted because then on to this oh i think there's one left over there i have to get he flashes are crazy anyway i went and got the last uh, thrifted bag i want to show you but anyway this is the next one and this is like a cognac color bag Let's see here gold hardware and you open it it's like a little suitcase i love it because it's a little suitcase and this is says paris 100% I don't know it's talking about, oh it's made in Italy genuine leather and if you see the inside look at it it's beautiful see that beautiful dress it up or down to me this is a cute sexy dress I don't know I haven't worn this during the day or anything like that I think this is a cute bag to wear like if you're going on a date a little date whatever kind of date lunch date date with a man you know i don't date men or women or animals i'm just i date myself so you could just wear a plain outfit with this and just have this on the side or carry it like this i think little bags are in style now i wouldn't care because i just wear what i like and this i thrifted i paid six dollars for this bag a long time ago that's why i like to keep the tags in there so i can remember but this one i took it off so maybe i did use this bag at one point but I'm never going to get rid of this bag because I just think it's very unique. And I love it. Okay, and closing for the thrifted bags that I found, that I bought, is this leather red. It's like a sling. You can sling it. You can wear it crossbody. You can wear it on your shoulders, whatever you want. It's leather. Look at the detailing on that. I get compliments on this bag too when people see me wear it. I think it's because of this. This is the back. It has a zipper leather interior zipper you open it like this is flap and look it has compartments here too damn i didn't even realize how cool this bag is i should wear it more often okay so look this i paid five dollars for a long long time ago when i mean long ago it's been like 10 years that's what i mean when i say long long ago okay that of bags that i found catch my eye i buy them and this is leather as you can see Look at the detailing, like wow, like now that I look at these bags, it's like wow, it is kind of pretty. I used to be like, oh, it's just a regular leather bag, but it's actually really pretty. So that's the last of that. So now we're going to go on to the uh, boring designer brands. I mean designer bags. All right, I forgot to show you guys this vintage uh, bag I thrifted also because like I said, it's not organized, but I'm going to show it to you. This is a white leather stud bag this is a Carrie Bradshaw kind of vibe bag leather interior has a string I have it tucked in there sling bag whatever look at this look at this beauty look at that okay vintage I paid four dollars for this bag leather vintage look at that you can't even tell here how supple this bag is look how beautiful Maybe this will be the thumb the, th the thumbnail because I love these stones on here. And they're all intact. This was thrifted also. I forgot to mention it from my thrifted bags. So this is actually the last one. So now I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the more... Um, I don't know what pile I'm going to do anyway. Because let me see what happens. Here. I'm just going to start off with this bag that I hate. I don't know why I hate it. I thought it was going to be different. I, I don't really care for this bag, to be honest with you. I don't. The bucket, the, I mean, sorry. The string is in there, the whatever that's called. I, I almost said a bad word, but I took it back. So anyway, I don't know why I don't like this bag. I, I get When I see it, I get annoyed. I don't know why. I, I mean, it wasn't cheap to me. I mean, I, I got it for, on my card or whatever. I think I got this at... Neiman Marcus. The point is, this is a coach bag. This is the mini tubby, whatever it's called. It has orange and like a pink kind of vibe to it. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I'm being honest. 
when I grab this bag, I don't get happy. Maybe that's why I don't grab it. So let me go I'm on. I'm gonna to just the next. make this my little coach vintage collection. I mean, this is not vintage. This is new, like current. I bought this like seven months ago. It's new. But these other bags that I got here that are coach, I'm looking one, two, three, four, five, and six. These were all thrifted. Okay, this is one I got at a thrift store. Okay, I paid seven dollars for this leather interior. I don't know why I needed it. I was looking for yellow and I found this one. And why not pick it up? It's leather and it's coach and it's in good condition, okay? That's the first coach. Now the next one is this one. Also thrifted. Look at the tag. So you can't say I'm BSing you guys out there. You might say, oh, she says she thrifts everything. I do. Look at the tag right there. See, I left it on there. As you can see, $12. The next one, this one too, I thrifted. This color I love. It's like a deep raspberry. I love this color. Also thrifted, because I'm cheap. There's no tag, tag in there. Thrifted. Go online now and see how much these go for on eBay or somewhere else. This one, thrifted. Okay, this one I remember, I bought this in, uh, either it was Poshmark or, or Mercari, Mercari. Okay, and I remember that she asked for $20 for this one. And I paid the $20 because I hadn't seen this style before and I liked the, the denim and the brown. So I got this because I have denim jeans this exact color. Okay, so $20, okay, for this one. The next one is, where is it? Oh, it's right here. This one. Thrifted as well, okay? thrift store it was just in the back there maybe someone saw it and said oh this is ugly good for me because i bought this one purple on the inside which i love and i don't remember seeing this collection but i looked it up it was a collection and i got it okay and i paid eight dollars for this bag okay eight dollars i look at the bottom it's like purplish too like a light purple and i love this bag because it's fun for the summer for whenever i just love it and then the last one is this the last one for the coach i have uh, uh two other ones over there but they have to be kind of clean because something occurred. So I'm not gonna show those to you. So it's okay, because you've already seen a lot of bags. And I have other bags I have to show you anyway. The so-called um, brand name, high-end collection, whatever. It's not high-end to me anyway. All right, so this is the last one. I really, really love this bag because of the color. I'll show you this right here on the inside, okay? This one, I could tell you, I bought it either in one of those stores that I said, either Poshmark or Macari, okay? And I paid $20. See, I have a good memory with the ones that I know I paid a lot for, like $20, that's a lot to me. But look at this beautiful color, guys. Love it. So that's for the collection, my vintage collection of the coach. So now I'm going to get on to the more... Okay, guys, whatever. first one here is going to be... What's in here? This one, I got this before the trend started to happen of everyone trying to get these bags online. Okay. And this is a little vintage Fendi. I forgot what this one's called. You could look it up yourself. A little black bag. I don't even know what I could fit in here. Uh, this is from the times of Jessica Simpson. She has like a, 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 a leopard one like this but it's really cute i guess if you have to go to the dentist real quick you can wear this one right here pay your bill you know tic tacs and go home okay that's my first one and my other one here that i have is this one this is also a vintage fendi bag um i don't know what you want me to say it's vintage it got the logos on there it got the it got the fendi in there it got the the serial number there whatever you want to call it that's that and then i have this one here oh my god how do you reward this bag i don't even know see i get these bags and i don't even know how to use them let me put the thing over it right here okay so this is this is a vintage bag. This is from, oh my God, who is this from? Let me look. Oof. The brand is this bag. 
Okay, I'm done. One more. This is embarrassing. This is a Roberto Cavalli vintage bag. It's right there on the whatever this is called. I don't know how I missed it, but the point is I missed it and whatever. Okay, this is a cute shoulder bag. Wear it like this. And you're good uh. to go. Vintage Roberto Cavalli bag right here. Okay, on to the so-called fancy bags, whatever. Uh, this is a little vintage Escada bag. Uh, I like to get things that not everyone is wearing because that's just how I am. Escada, if you can't see it too bad. Uh, this is Escada bag. Look at this beauty. Good for the summer. Good for a quick visit to the dentist. Going to Publix, getting a cute, you know, some quick things. You don't only need a wallet. I consider these bags to wear when you're not on your rag. But the truth is you can because a pad fits in there. Your Excedrin and all that stuff. So look at this bag right here. Gold chain. And once again, this is like Escada, okay? Don't ask me what year from it's from because I couldn't tell you. But this it's is the next one here. This is a little vintage, uh, uh, what's it called? Dior. And I got this before the hype started to happen with this with this uh, pattern here. So I got this like 10 years ago before the hype when they started to make all th this pattern again in the horse style or whatever. This is what I, this is a Dior, okay? This is vintage. Uh, don't ask me how much I paid. I can guarantee you it was less than what they're asking for now if you look it up, okay? This is like a little cute little... Uh, shoulder bag or whatever how you wear like this or whatever it's cute you can fit your iPhone your your pills dress it up or down I love it vintage as you can tell if you know bags you could tell that okay vintage. next I have this zebra cowhide purse from it's a brand that I don't even know, to be honest with you. But it's it's not cheap. I don't remember. The point is, I don't even, I don't know. Okay. I don't know, really, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's cowhide. It's leather. And you could fit what you need to fit in this bag. I could have worn this bag today. What did I wear today? I wore my thrifted one. See? I have these bags, and I normally gravitate towards cute thrift finds. But anyway... This is my little zebra pouch that I carry when I have to go somewhere. I want to be edgy. And it's nice because it's like the hair is, you know, it's real and all that. Or whatever. I don't know what it is. I don't believe in animal killing. So don't, don't be stupid. On the me. next is a favorite, of course. Mark Jacobs. If you saw my previous vlog when I was cleaning my closet... You saw that I had that black one, but that's more like a bigger bag for work. This is the smaller bag edition here. If you notice, all the bags I'm showing you are small. They're not on the hobo shoulder huge shoulder bags, okay? So here it is. This is a Marc Jacobs, and this is vintage. This is the one you could wear like this, like CC, like this, or just carry it in your hand. Leather, it's that beautiful hunter green that I love. And um, where's the thing on here? I don't even know. But anyways, Mark ja Mark Jacobs' bag. Where do you, oh, oh, it's right here. There you go, Mark Jacobs. Um, I bought this, I don't remember when I bought it. I think I bought this in 2018. 2018, yes, I bought this one. Smaller bags. And I think I showed, let me get the so, other one. The next bag here. You got so many bags there. Yeah, I'm almost done, so that's great. I think you have a Gucci bag. Do you have a Gucci bag? Okay, so this is my little tiny Louis Vuitton. Um, I don't know what this one's called, but I'm sure you could look it up or whatever. But this is really cute and fun. I think I did a, on Instagram a long time ago. Someone said, what can you fit in there? And I showed them what I fit in there. But you can fit stuff in there. Okay, of course, I don't think your iPhone 18 will fit in here, but everything else fits in here. Car keys or whatever. My little tiny uh, Louie here. Okay, on to the next one. It's going to be my... Whatever this one is called. See, I couldn't even tell you because... I, 
I can't be remembering these names. You know what I'm saying? I'm elderly and whatever. All you young people that watch my channel or if you're elderly, whatever, you'll know the name of it. But here it is. This is the little the little one. Okay. And a little mini Louie. And um it's cute. And I can tell you the last time I wore this bag, that's how long it's been. Okay. So that's the point I'm trying to tell you ladies out there. Brand name, fake, real, and not thrifted. I gravitate more towards my cute thrifted bags than these stupid expensive bags. So the lesson here is, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter and no one cares is the point. If you're carrying a $5,000 bag or a $5 bag because they could both do the same thing, okay? So this is it and then I'm going to show you the last one of this video. Let's hey guys, go. I forgot to show you this cute little pink furry one from my regular collection. This is um, just a pink furry bag that I like. I'm not going through menopause. I'm happy for you. I'm having a heat flash right now. Anyway, the last one that I want to show you guys before I end this vlog here, don't forget to subscribe and share this. And remember, if you're real and authentic, you will be subscribing to my channel because you see that I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. I'm just myself. The last one is from this person here. Kirk Goringer. Okay. And this is the last one I wanted to show you guys. I've worn this bag even though I have it in the whatever that's called. The bag. The dust bag. Alright. This is it guys. Maybe this will be the thumbnail. This is the last one, guys. Look at this beautiful pop of color. Look at that. It's just, okay. I had to get it. Okay, I had to get this bag. It's beautiful. Kurt Legregre. Leg, leg Kurt Legregre. Oh, oops. Kurt Legregre. I got this in Neiman Marcus and I couldn't tell you if it's available because I don't know when I bought it. I purchased this when I was living. I think I purchased this like a year and a half ago, to be honest. So there it is, guys. This is my little mini handbag collection of my smaller bags. I do not know. I have many others, but I'm not going to show everything because that's dumb. And plus, I'm tired. So I hope you really enjoyed this mini vlog handbag mini collection of high and low and of course as you notice I was more excited about my low ones than my high ones I mean this one gets me high as you can see but compared to the others if you saw the reaction guys so don't forget to subscribe like and share and if you want this bag see if you can find it in Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom. That's all I can do because I don't have like all those SKUs and all that. So have a wonderful holiday if you celebrate Thanksgiving and all that retardedness. I don't. But enjoy your time, your day off or whatever. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week or whenever I vlog again. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. <coughs> Mm, how did you suck?